What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek. And in today's video, we're gonna go through responsive search ads, how to set them up, how they work, and why we use them in every single campaign we do now and probably going forward until they come up with something better. So before we get into that though, make sure you subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there for you guys, including a link to one of our free Google ads optimization courses that you can run through. And I'm sure you'll find some gold nuggets in there that you guys can use. All right, so let's get into it. We're looking at our agency campaign here for white label PPC management, all right? So if you're in your campaign, you can go into any ad group, it doesn't really matter. So we'll go into white label PPC management ad group. We'll click the little plus icon here. Or I'm sorry, we'll go up to ads. So go into ad, go into your ad group, go into ads. You can see here we have our ads here. You're going to hit this little blue plus. You're going to come to this text here, responsive search ad. All right, let me uh, move this over for you guys. How's that? Better? All right. So you have a couple little things here. It's giving you some suggestions based on the ad group and the keywords. It's telling you what you need to do to make your ad a better quality. So right now it's poor because we don't have, we only have a couple headlines. We only have, well, we have all our descriptions, but we only have a couple headlines. So we want to add, it's really important that when you guys are doing responsive search ads, that you do all of them. Do as many as you can. These are all just bullet points, selling points unique selling propositions where you call out your audience. This is what this is. You're, you're essentially, you're pre-qualifying your audience and how this works. So you, you put all these headlines in, you put all these descriptions in and Google's algorithm combines them all, shows them to the traffic that comes through the ads and auto optimizes the ad and will only show after a certain period of time, once it figures it out, whatever the highest converting or highest best statistical ad is, they're going to only show that ad then. All right, but they figure that all out through their algorithm. It's really cool. So a few things. <clears throat> First, I need some coffee. One second. All right, better. Next, display URL up here. And this is just me. I, I always try to work in the keyword in the display URL just as a another layer of relevancy. Next up, your headlines. Make sure they're like you can see here, we kind of get a little animated. PPC reseller doesn't suck. Like, make sure they stand out. It's just like creating, when you create your own ads for your regular ads, your text ads, you got to have headlines that stand out. And if, if you already have a campaign built and you have a bunch of ads, if you click here, it's going to pull up a list of ideas based on your website and existing ads. So you can kind of come through here and just start adding them if you already did all the work. So we would take this one. Take that one. I would definitely throw our brand in there. Should we throw your brand in a responsive search ad? I like this one. Google Premier Partner Agency. And now you can see some of these are not great, right? <laughs> but you definitely want to work in white label PPC management because that's the main keyword for this ad group. So you can see here the strength of the ad is going up. It says good. Let's do affordable prices. Actually, I would do flat rate pricing. Creative agents ready to help. Mm, I don't like that. You know what? Let's do something else. I don't like that at all. Highly trained. All right, so one more. All right, I like these. So you can see here we have all of our headlines laid out. We have our keyword worked into the headlines, white label PPC management, white label PPC, PPC reseller. It's kind of like a different variation. PPC reseller, I'll take that because it all Google in, in Google's eyes, P 
PPC reseller is pretty much the same as white label PPC. They understand that. And you can see here our ad, our ad strength just went to excellent because it includes headlines with keywords. We're talking about exactly the relevancy of our ad group. You always want your ads to show excellent. I know it can be a pain in the ass to try and go through and think of all these different headlines and stuff and work the keywords into them, but trust me, guys, take the time. It's going to be worth it. Next, you come down to your descriptions. You can see here, because I had these ads for so long, they already pre-populated for me. But this is the same deal with the headlines. You want to have all of your descriptions done and filled out to the maximum. You want to have your keywords worked into them. You want to have more bullet points in here. So you can see here, no contracts, one to three day onboarding process, U.S. White Label Agency. And just kind of mix and match that. But make sure your uh, keywords are worked in there. And then you just hit save. And this is what it's going to look like inside your ad group. Right here. You asset details. So how I usually do this, I do one responsive search ad. Sometimes two, but if you do two responsive search ads, don't just copy the first one. Make sure all the headlines are different. Your descriptions are different. All that stuff. That can be a real pain in the ass to do that. But in the long run, you're going to be way more successful doing that. So you can do one responsive search ad and two text ads, or you can do two different responsive search ads and one test, uh, text ad. And that, that's pretty much the best practice for creating the, uh, the ads in your ad groups. Now, my experience with responsive search ads is I've, I've seen them. So here, how do I put this? If I do the work and I really commit to going through and finding really creative headlines like the one we just did is pretty good like that's gonna that's gonna kill it it's gonna do really good so if we do something like that and you put in the time you do the work the responsive search ad is gonna blow away the text ads by far and that's why i've seen 10 out of 10 times when you actually put in the work and get creative with your ad copy they always win um, if you half-ass it they're going to be probably about the same as your regular text ads so put in the time to them. The, if you do it right, the responsive search ads do much, much better than uh, regular text ads. And that's just my experience, and that's across hundreds of accounts. It's always the same. If you do the work, they're going to do better. They're going to get higher click-through rates. Google really knows what they're doing, so they're not just rolling this out to be like, hey, guys, you know, use our product. It's just the same as text ads. They want you to use it because it works, and they get more. They have vested interest in you running responsive search ads because the better they do, their algorithm does creating your ads and getting more clicks, the more money they get. So it's in their best interest to, to make responsive search ads as, as best as they can be. All right, so that's uh, how you create them, how they work, my experience with them. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And other than that, I think uh, I'm going to make one more video today. I think I'm going to do a case study, so keep an eye out for that too. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.